Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, presented by Draco Breach. Last time, we finally proceeded with story after getting our 11th heart container. This time, we're going to continue the story before going into some more collection, because you'll see. Don't want to spoil it too much. Although, by this point, I'm sure everybody's seen a playthrough of this at least once, or, or played it. But here, somebody new is up here. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? I do know, you do know Telma, don't you? I am Aru. I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I have heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Link? The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals were, who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the desert is impassable. The desert, this desert at world's end, still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. Of course we do. Let's go. Ah, is that so? Then let good old Aru help you out. You see Lake Hylia below us? A name... I, I, I have no idea. A, a name? Okay. A man named Fire runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. You got Aru's memo. Blah, blah, blah. See? Long ago, I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fire, all should go well. Yeah. All should go well with a crazy man that shoots you out of cannons. I have no idea why he didn't go into a dive there. Okay, sure. Anyway, as you can tell by Aru, we're going to a new area. And with a new area, there are new collectibles. Um, this is going to really help with some collections, and it's going to just be the tip of the iceberg for others. So, yeah, we'll see. What did I just hear? That was weird. And, hello, fire. From old Aru, huh? Oh, well, I guess I gotta do what the old coot says. Oasis flights, right? So here you go. One of our secret options not available to the general public. This time's all paid for, so what do you say? Wanna go? Oh, dear. Alrighty, then. But remember, next time you gotta pay. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis, fire in the hole. That smile on your face bodes ill for me. Let's go. I've been so used to skipping this, it's going to be interesting to watch it again. And here we go, changing our aim to change our trajectory and fly to the Garuda Desert. Ger Garuda, Gerudo. Wow, I... Me and speech. We has problems. Wait, Link. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. 
Do you remember what the spirit said about the fused shadows? What do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. Story time. It was another world entirely, the antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in the half-light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. That is foreboding. This is the history of the Twili, as it has been passed down from our ancestors. Hey, there may be some debate on how to pronounce that word. I'm... I'm not sure where I fall on it. <laughs> do, you n do you now understand what I am? I am a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. It was a peaceful place until Xant took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twi'li into Shadow Beasts, and that's the second pronunciation I've used. That's a... variant I don't believe we've seen yet. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there, and I could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without his power. But there's another tale told by my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. You'll come with me, won't you? Yeah, we've learned that you're a lot nicer than you tried to let on. So yeah. We'll go with you, because you're fun. Anyway, immediately turn around. Um... Try, ah, there we go. Oh, it's already nighttime. I didn't think it was, actually. I ignored these things because I really don't want to deal... Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, almost did not get that, which is not what I wanted. But you'll also notice that there is a dick spot here. There's a Gronto here. The prize is not exactly important, but I cannot be in Wolf Link form right now. And we discovered that these guys do not like the Gale Boomerang. Right so, learn. Wait, really? Actually, I think the Skull Bash works pretty well on. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, the Skull Bash does work pretty well on them. It's just a little awkward. Oh, you... You... Use a... Sh shield. A rock is a shield. But they really just do not like the Gale Boomerang. That is one thing that I do like about Twilight Princess is they found ways of keeping a lot of the items useful. I mean, who would have thought that the... Um... Little, little Gale Boomerang from the first dungeon would be used all the way out in the Garuda Desert. Gerudo, Gerudo Desert. Even after we found the um, bow and arrow and the claw shot. And yeah, I came down here just for the rupees because I could 
I could pad out my rupees a little bit. Um, I believe the enemies that are coming up from the from the desert are called Moldorms, and they are very annoying. I generally, uh, hello, hello, thank you. I generally just like to keep moving. Um, there is something up there. What? Oh, nothing important, is it? They, I don't believe they can actually come up on these rocky areas, so you're pretty safe up here. Um, on, on the rocky cliffs. Yeah, this is also not terribly important. 20 rupees, yay. Um, next goal, I believe is that, so yeah. Transform back into a wolf because we can move faster this way. No, 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 we have a goal before we get there. Yeah, there it is, actually. You can see it. And actually about to test a theory. Yeah, they can't get up here. Um, gonna need to be a human to get this insect. Leave me alone, please. And yes, we are collecting an insect. There we go. The male day, day fly. Um, I believe you can... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That's called a P-hat, and you can grapple onto it to get across here. I did not. Okay, we can't do anything with this yet. So just remember that for later. Um... Trying to remember where everything is. But our goal is very... Oh, I almost got hit. What happened there? It's fairly obvious what our goal is. Because it's the big thing that you can see quite clearly. Uh... And yeah, you can see that you can... Uh, want to be... Actually, I probably could be... Human Link for this. Regular Link, whatever you want to say. Three of you guys, this is... Us. Oh, whoa, 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 you're... All like... Okay, that worked. That was very tight quarters. Okay, so we can see this Poe right here. So let's collect number 31. Come on down. Whoa. Oh, you jerk. Oh, that's... That's very much not good. Um, uh, well, that's annoying. Thankfully, night just started, so... Oh, I thought I was... I thought I was in a good spot, and I was not. Okay, this Poe is going to be somewhat annoying. That's one thing I don't like about Poe's being on ledges like this, is they can easily just get away from you. Yes, I know, Midna. But got him. And that is number 31. And Midna wants our attention, so uh, let's give it to her. What is this thing? I know exactly what it is. If we remember, the bridge of Elden was broken, and a piece of it sent somewhere. Well, we found that piece, and we are going to place it back onto Elden. 
uh, onto the Bridge of Elden. And as you actually kind of saw there, there was something underneath it, and I will talk about that in just a moment. As soon as we return to the... Yeah, there we go. I was like, aren't you going to morph me there? And she did. Just took her a moment, because Midna takes a moment sometimes. So we are going to plop this back into spot. We are going to put it back where it belongs. Warp on top of it. And now, the Bridge of Elden warp point has been restored to us. Which is useful, but we don't need it right now. We are going to warp right on back to Garuda, which is where? And we should be able to get a couple more things. Let's see if I can see. I know. Oh, wow, I missed it. I could have gotten it a moment ago. And what do I do? I run right past it. I knew it was in a in one of these ravines. I just couldn't remember where. The female day fly. So, just to check our collection, we are a mere two bugs away from completing Princess Agatha's collection. And one more item on the agenda. Right over here we see this pea hat flying around. Well, if you're paying attention, there is a treasure chest over there. Oh, you stupid... Moldorms, you're annoying. Not exactly... No, no. No. Ah. Wow, they just... They literally just jumped off the cliff. Uh, come on. Okay, so, last treasure to collect before, well, this episode. <laughs> and it is the Hylian Letter R. So, yeah, a few more collectibles that we earned. Um, may as well go back over here. But, our next goal, as you can see, is right over there. You can see a wonderful view from out, up here. Actually, I want to go into first-person view. That is our final goal of the Gerudo, Gerudo Desert. That is our immediate goal, and that is Hyrule Castle. You can also see something else in the distance there, but this is actually... I, I love views like this. Anyway, for the time being, this will be Draco Breach reporting out. God bless and safe travels. <laughs>